It is one four five one six Ventura Boulevard Sherman Oaks. Fun fact, you are not supposed to drink coffee before you get eyelash extensions done because it makes your eyes have like little tiny twitches like caffeine does. So this place told me do not drink any coffee before my appointment. Anyways, today is Wednesday. Welcome to the video. We are headed to Sherman Oaks, which is all the way in the valley, which is far away, but thankfully not too much traffic. Um, I'm going over there for a lash appointment. I'm getting a full set um, just because one, I'm going to the Toronto Pro this weekend, which is exciting. And two, the weather's warming up. I don't want to wear as much makeup, which sounds counterintuitive, but if I have lashes already done, then all I have to do really is like put some powder on my face and my eyebrows and then I'm done. So right now I'm not wearing any under eye concealer, <laughs> which, uh, not draw i drew the short end of the stick on the under eye department thanks mom um we're heading to that place and then afterwards there's something very exciting happening so stay tuned for that but first we're gonna go get my lashes done andrew's gonna find a coffee shop to work at um i really like that he's willing to help me go places because driving in la makes me anxious and He's a really good driver. So, thank you to Andrew for driving me. Breakfast while we drive is one container of Carb Master yogurt, some chopped up strawberries, and I let that sit overnight, and then a third of a Power Crunch bar, and these like protein crunchy things that I get from bodybuilding.com. finished product and I'm super happy with them. I will put the before picture here and the after picture here. These were done by Kat at the Sherman Oaks location of Blink Bar if anyone is in the area. She did a really good job. It was really quick. I got the full set done in like an hour and 10 minutes so that's pretty good. Um, yeah we're gonna go find some coffee because we have some time to kill before my next stop for today which I'm really excited about and of course I will show you guys but basically we have finalized and printed all of the grind and be grateful apparel coming out so I'm gonna go take website photos for that at the warehouse and I'm super pumped you guys have been so so patient waiting for all of this stuff to get finished I know it's been quite the process I just like I don't know why I thought it was a really good idea to just do a lot of different projects at once <laughs> because it was kind of overwhelming but everything is about to be done at the same time actually my website's about to launch probably next week all right Andrew John it's like a cute one though. no that is there's nothing cute about that <laughs> That's getting put in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, did you? All right, makeup is done. I have some coffee in me, except I'm very hungry because it's noon and I haven't eaten since like 8.30 and that was around 200 calories. So I'm really hungry, but we're gonna knock these photos out and then grab some lunch. But um, this, is, this is a look really minimal and just simple so the focus is on the apparel i'm wearing one of the pieces now and i'm excited to show you guys i'm excited this has been a long time coming so let's go take some photos Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the 
have a salad with half a scoop of pinto beans, fajita veggies, chicken, pico, corn, and then I got some guac on the side so I can control how much goes on, and then we have some extra salsa. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little sneak peek of the stuff we're coming out with. We are aiming for a Friday launch, not not this Friday, not next Friday, but the Friday after that. So um, that would be, what day? That would be June 9th is the, is the day we're aiming for. So mark your calendars for that. It'll be afternoon or morning-ish of June 9th. I will be doing like a full lookbook, giving you guys more info on like pricing, shipping, all that stuff as we get closer. But just for now, get excited. We're having three shirt designs, two hoodies, um, and then hats and a couple other little things thrown in there as well. Super excited. This has been a while coming since the first launch, which was like awesome. You guys were so great with that. Um, but instead of a pre-order, this time we're just going to have inventory and y'all can buy and we'll ship out like immediately. So we'll have more frequent launches every few weeks as opposed to like huge gaps between them. Anyways, all the website photos are taken. Website needs to be built now and we are just on the way home. Still need to work out today, do cardio and do a bunch of other work. But I feel accomplished having done the photos just to fill y'all in. But... <coughs> Back home and we arrived to a bite meals package so I'm about to have some chicken rice and green beans super simple and delicious and I'm gonna just put some seasonings on top of there to make it a little more exciting we're fully stocked again for the week so here's a glimpse into my fridge um, I get like the protein pancakes in bulk I get veggies in bulk do you mind sausage crumbles in bulk um, I've been really addicted to berries and Carb Master yogurt lately. I have lots of greens, diet sodas on deck, um, cashew milk, and then like tons of condiments and salad dressings. So I keep a lot of just like basic bulk food on hand, but then I also keep a lot of salad dressing, seasoning, spices on deck as well. So that keeps things interesting and keeps me from getting bored eating the same things every day. You don't have to, but I just am a creature of habit, so I have a ton of seasonings and stuff too. That's really the key. I find that when I'm trying to get too fancy and creative, I get like burnt out on like tracking macros and stuff because the more complex your recipes are, the more annoying tracking gets. So if you just keep things pretty simple, it's easier to track and it's easier to stay consistent for me. That's just a little tip for y'all, but I'm gonna eat my chicken and rice and green beans with some, I'm gonna do it with some of this barbecue seasoning from Simple Girl. I like this color. With the space gray? Yeah. Nice. nice. Future. Future. big this trackpad is. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, these feel so nice. Feel yeah. Like... Oh, they're like in. They're really shallow. Is that how they it's supposed to be? They're clicky. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, it's been an interesting past day or so. Um, Ollie is not great. Um, he was like breathing really 
Well, first of all, rewind. If you don't know, or if you don't follow my Instagram, or watch my G stories, or follow me on Twitter, <laughs> you probably don't know. But um, Ollie was taken to the emergency vet last night because we noticed that he was like breathing really fast and like really hard and shallow, and we noticed that his gums were really pale. He just wasn't, didn't look like himself. So, long story short, we took him to the emergency vet last night around like 7.30. And just, we were like, oh, it's probably nothing, but better safe than sorry. And like, we know, we know our baby. We knew that something was off. So, we went, and after so long of a wait, not in the waiting room, like, they admitted him right away. Um, started taking his vitals, and then we just sat there, like, waiting for someone to come and talk to us. And the doctor basically came in and said that he, his heart was failing. And as you can imagine, we were very distraught by that news. Still not, still upset, obviously. Um, but thankfully, things have started looking a little more optimistic today um the vet last night said that basically once they have heart failure they get like a year to live which is very not okay since he's nine months old um but then the the cardiologist this morning was a lot more hopeful since he bounced back so quickly and said that um, he may live significantly longer than that. We will have to manage it with medication every day and regular checkups and all of that good stuff. Um, thankfully I have insurance that I got for him when, when I first got him and he still had a clean bill of health. So I'm very grateful that I have that and that's going to cover a large percentage of the costs. Not all of them, but a lot. So... That's good. Just he had a echocardiograph and an ultrasound this morning on his heart. Um, last night his heart was like very enlarged and he had fluid in his lungs, so that's why he was not breathing very well. Um, so they had to place him in like this oxygen tank, and that's where he slept overnight. That's where he still is. Oh hello. Is that oxygen treating you? Definitely feeling better because he's all cuddly again. It's really sad because it's really cold in there, and the poor guy was all alone and he had no one to cuddle him. I wish I could like sleep in there with him, but anyways, this morning he had more tests done. His heart has gone back down. His lungs are starting to clear. So he like has been showing really good signs of improvement since last night, um, but he's not ready to come back home yet. So he's staying there again another night, which is of course perfect timing because I leave for Canada tomorrow morning. Um, I, like, debated not going, but he's very stable, and the vet said that, like, there's no immediate concern right now, so there's no sense in me staying back, but, um, anyways, I just wanted to fill you guys in, because I know a lot of you care about Ollie. He's, like, won the hearts of all of the vets and the vet techs already at the hospital, because he's just so sweet and handsome and... You guys, if you watch any of my stuff, then you probably love him too. So I just wanted to update you guys, keep you in the loop, um, and just kind of <laughs> let you know what's going on. This vlog has been kind of disorganized because ever since that started happening last night, I obviously have not prioritized recording. About to go now. I really don't want to record, and I know you guys probably understand, but just wanted to say thank you for your patience as my content is not 
super great. I'm going to be editing this video on the plane on my new laptop that you guys saw. Um, and yeah, lots of <laughs> unexpected expenses lately. So that's kind of stressful, but I will literally do anything to make sure Ollie's happy and healthy. <clears throat> Can you guys hear that? We have like parrots, like a flock of stray parrots has taken to the trees outside our apartment, which is very odd. Um, like they're definitely parrots. They're not regular birds. They're green parrots with orange beaks. But anyways, this is like the most disorganized clip, but I just wanted to update you, let you know why this vlog is a mess and has no fitness aspects to it. <laughs> But if you're going to be at the Toronto Pro, I would love to meet you guys, love to give you hugs, and say thank you for supporting me. I will be at the PE Science booth, and then I'll be home on Monday to see Mr. Ollie and reunite with him. Andrew will be taking care of him. He's in good hands. I even made Andrew promise he won't go to the gym, and he'll just sit here and watch Ollie all weekend. So he's in good hands. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do a full body workout because I'm not sure if I'll be able to squeeze it in tomorrow. Um, I'm assuming I'll just be able to do like cardio at the hotel when I land. But I'll be vlogging this weekend and there will be more fitness stuff to come. So thank you guys so much for sending out your love and support for Ollie. A lot of you have commented, reached out to me in some way saying that you're praying for him and thinking about him and hoping he has a speedy recovery. And I really appreciate that. I really do believe in the power of positive thinking. And um, I know that Ollie feels you all's love. So thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys from Toronto and keep you posted about Mr. Kitty. Love you guys. Bye.